we were just talking about it during the song that the love of God really is the best foundation for our lives. And um, I think it's important that we show the world that, that the love of God is so different than a human love. Exactly. You're yeah. right. Yeah. You're right. There's such a there's such a big difference in the, between the love that that the human love and the perception of the human yeah, love yeah. and the true pure love that yeah, God gives. That's right. That's really a, a light and day difference, can I say? <laughs> yeah, a difference of night and day. Yeah, that's true. You're a father of three boys, and you said there's never a dull moment. <laughs> no, no. It, but it's a wonderful experience, though. Yeah. It's really a wonderful ex experience. I, I learn a lot. Yeah, I learn every day about it. But uh, I learn a lot about the children. I learn a lot about myself. Hmm. Um, I learn a lot about about God and how God loves people and how God is patient with people and how God is yeah, loving and helping them and guiding them. So so I'm very happy that I can be a father. I feel very blessed mm -hmm. that I have a family and uh, I'm thankful for every moment that I can uh, invest in my children and uh, and guide them and help them. And uh, yeah. they give me a lot of energy and a, and a lot of love <laughs> also. So Beautiful. Uh, Three beautiful boys and uh, you have a beautiful family. You serve as pastor in uh, the Blessing Church in Amsterdam. Yes. And and um, as we're talking about a father's love, of course, we're going to be talking about our heavenly father. And I uh, wanted to ask you, Pastor, what does your relationship with your heavenly father look like? Because we know God is three in one. God, the father, God, the son, God, the Holy Spirit. Would you say there's a difference in your relationship with God, the father and the person of Jesus? Well, what I can say is that uh, that the love of Je the love of God is really shown through Jesus yeah, and uh, yeah. the moment that I uh, had an experience with through the Holy Spirit with the love of Jesus that I knew and it clicked in my spirit this is the place where I need to be and I felt the love of God through the the yeah the sacrifice that Jesus made for me so so I'm very um, I'm very thankful for that moment and it was really a, a really special moment for me because at that moment, it was a love like I ex never experienced before. Mm. I knew this is, it felt like home. I knew this is something beautiful. beautiful. This is good. This is what I, I was searching for. This is what I needed in my life and, and really changed my life around. Yeah, that's so beautiful. Uh, how old were you when that happened? I was 14. Oh, that's so teenage boy. Yeah, yeah. 14 here in The Hague, a uh, youth uh, service. Uh, awesome. That's yeah. how important it is to bring your kids to those youth services. Yes. You know, Matthew 7 says, Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him. And I love this verse because I was brought up by a very good father here on earth. So it made me, it helped me to uh, know how good the heavenly father could be when you look at this verse. Yes. Because if you have a good father and then you hear, well, your heavenly father is even better, then it helps you to, uh, to realize the love of the father. But I do know that there are so many who don't have that. And, and if you're one of those people and you're listening today, then we want to encourage you and pray for you. And we want to help you to have that encounter with God. But really, it's a doing of the Holy Spirit. And it's starting right now. It's starting right now as you're listening to this conversation. So, Pastor Orfeo, how do you feel about what I just said? Yeah, I think um, as, as, a, as a guy that grew up with uh, without a dad, so mm. uh, my father wasn't in, uh, in our house, so uh, that was a, a different experience. And in, in my early years as a young boy, yeah, you, you don't know what you're missing, and it was uh, kind of uh, the normal way of living. But once I became a teenager, I really started to recognize there are some things that I'm missing in my okay. life. There are some things that, yeah, I never uh, experienced, and and I need some guidance in certain places. So then it did start to dawn on me that I'm I'm missing certain things. So, um, hmm. but uh, but it changed when I when I came to Christ. It was really yeah some some 
I, I was missing guidance on some practical things. Like, for example, I didn't know how to, to fix my tie uh, when I was wearing a suit. I right. didn't know how to get my tie right. So it was the pastor's son who was at the time, I think he was 10 years old, who teached me how to, you know, get my uh, my tie and yeah. my suit in order. So practical things. I, I was missing guidance also on how to uh, you know, stand up for myself and how to posture myself also in in the yeah in life and in the world hmm. so wow. so th- th- that can be challenging yeah but um what i can say is that god is so good and uh, the moment that i came to 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 christ uh, yeah he was starting to work on me and then i experienced the love of the father and what i can say to all the people that are uh, living in a broken home let's say that way is that uh, God, our Heavenly Father, is there to to help you and to fill in the blank spots in your life Amen. and to guide you. That's good. Uh, he's really the one that can compensate on the things that you are missing in your in your life, and that's what He did for me. Mm. So that's what He did for me. He really showed me that He loves me, because. Growing up without a father, I developed a kind of need in myself to prove myself to other people. I always, I was always going above and beyond to show myself that I'm that I'm valuable, to show my worth, and all those kind of things. I was seeking for acceptance and 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 seeking for, yeah, uh, that that people would recognize me mm. and celebrate me, which was unhealthy. It's not good to to please people always just to to feel accepted. Uh, but um, yeah, I remember that uh, Pastor David was always having the broadcast on the television, and he was That's always right. ending those broadcasts with with the word saying, "God loves you." Mm. That had an impact in my life. It's 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 really it th- that had such really? a great impact in my life, because through those words and through the word of God, I learned that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm all right the way I am. He loves me the way I am. It's wow. not that I have to do something special or that I have to go above and beyond to be accepted by our heavenly Father. He's right there waiting for me, and He loves me. And even though I'm imperfect, and even though I have shortcoming shortcomings or make mistakes, He really loves me, That's and powerful. I experienced that love of the Father, and that helped me to grow into a mature Christian, and that yeah. helped me to grow a passion for God and for God's people and for everybody that wants to serve the Lord. That's so powerful. so let me encourage the people by yeah. saying even though you have a broken may have a broken home uh, I, I want to encourage you by saying God really loves you yeah. and he is really a heavenly father that really steps up. That's right. He really steps in and he steps up. He Ooh, takes his responsibility and he does what he promised and he takes care of his children and he takes care of people and he takes care of everybody who's willing to say yes lord help me wow. and that's what i experience and that's what i can testify that the love of god it's so much bigger than you can imagine it's so much better than the the love of the world he really loves you and i want to encourage you by saying that and even for if you like me you're a young guy or a young man uh, you don't always want to talk about your issues with other people. You don't always want to talk with other people about the things you experience because, yeah, as a guy, you need to fix them yourself. Mm. That's what, what, what the world tells you. Right. But let me tell you this. God knows what you are going through. He knows what you are experiencing. He knows when you lay your head on your pillow, the things that you are struggling about, the things that you are thinking about. He knows it. Yeah. He's very very aware and he's there to help you, to guide you, to protect you, to give you what you need to become that man, that man of God. Whatever you need, he's there to help you and to, to help you grow as a person. Also. That's so good. That's so good. Thank you for sharing that and being so transparent about your experience. Um, And, you know, Pastor Afeo is talking about the Word of God and the truth of God and things that you've been hearing all day. And it's not like he's not lived it. He's lived this himself. This is a testimony. This is what we call a testimony. And uh, this is the truth that's coming to your house and your heart and your mind as you're tuned in. And what are you going to do with that? That's your decision. What are you going to do with this? And I'm going to ask Pastor Afeo to pray for you. If uh, something that you just heard resonated with you, with your hearts, if this is concerning you, and I know that there are people listening, and this is for you, Pastor Faye is going to pray for you, and uh, I would just love for you to receive that prayer. And that simple phrase, God loves you. 
that that made such an impact on your life. Yes, amen. That is mind blowing to me. Yeah. And it makes me wonder. Maybe I should say it more often to some people. You know, some people never hear "I love I you." I love you. Yeah. They never hear it. Yeah. They they haven't heard it from their parents. They they never hear it. They don't. Wow. They they don't. They even don't say it. But God really loves you, and He loves you uh, beyond your mistakes, and He yeah. loves you beyond your shortcomings. He's He loves you because of you. He doesn't love you because of the way you portray yourself. Because mm. for the world, we have to portray ourselves in, su in such a way that they will accept us and that they will love us. But he's not looking at your Instagram profile. He's looking at your heart. Come on. That, that's what we talk about, heart to heart. Yes. He's not looking on the way you want to portray yourself to yeah. the world. He's not, the he's not looking at you at the way you want to show yourself through a filter. No, he's looking at the way that you really are. And he loves you because of who you are yeah. and he really loves you and he is there for you to help you to grow to become the person he designed you to be so he has a perfect design for everyone and he's helping you to become that person he has in mind and he has great thoughts amen for his people amen. he had great plans yeah for his people so he has great plans for you amen amen to all of that this is stirring my heart <laughs> because i feel like there are people listening that have never heard that that you are loved my friend you are so loved loved beyond measure loved with a love that is just unparalleled to anything you have ever experienced because this love will never fail you so pastor orfeo can you pray for those people right now yes father lord i thank you i thank you for this moment and i thank you for uh, this opportunity to pray lord we pray for everybody who is listening who maybe uh, have a have a book have came from a broken home or came from a broken situation. Lord, we've, we've learned, we've experienced, and we've seen in your word that you are a specialist into making and recovering broken people, broken homes, broken situations. Lord, I pray that for everybody who is listening right now and who need a miracle and they need a, a miracle of restoration, Lord, please come in their home, yes. come in their heart, come in their situation, Lord, and do the miracle work that you are that you always do, Lord. Amen. Restore them, Lord. Restore those who have heartache. Restore those who have uh, problems with their securities or problem with their self-image, uh, Lord. Please come there and, and restore them and encourage them and fill them, Lord, that they will taste and see that you are good, Lord. Amen. I thank you, Lord. You say in your word that if we draw near to God, that you will draw near to us. Yes. And so, Lord, I pray that everybody whose heart is open and who's uh, uh, listening to these words right now, Lord, that you come in their hearts and touch them, that they may experience the love of God like never before, Lord, that you will transform their hearts and their minds in Jesus' name name and that lord uh, the things that they are missing lord that you will compensate them with mm. your love and Come with on. your goodness and with your grace and with your miracle working lord do it in their hearts do it in their minds lord we thank you for your goodness we thank you for your grace we thank you for your miracle working and we thank you that you work globally lord yes. oh lord you are not limited lord i thank you for everybody who is opening their heart right now lord lord touch them right now change their hearts right now yes. and Encourage them right now. Lift them up right now. Thank Lord, you, restore Jesus. right now. Yes. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name, Amen. we receive it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen to that. And if you've received that prayer, let us know. We'd love to celebrate with you. Know this, that you are so valuable. You have been made perfectly, wonderfully. You are valuable. Let us encourage you on Mossball Radio.